Welcome to the Journey with Nicole YouTube channel. Today we have a goddess reading. We're going to pull a couple goddess oracle cards and see what kind of energy reading we can get today from the goddesses. So let's start with Lakshmi, Bright Future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Lakshmi is a Hindu goddess. She um, is connected with the elephant and water. And she is uh, about putting your mind to rest and at ease uh, due to stress. And she's also... Lakshmi is associated with fertility as well. I'll go ahead and just give a little description and then we'll get into the full reading here. Solace, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Now, Solace is... Um, she is a Celtic goddess, and she is oversees all bodies of water and brings people to bodies of water for healing. Rhiannon, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. I love that card. Totally love that card. Okay. So, uh, all right, let me, um, let me, um, look up Rhiannon real quick. I think Rhiannon is Celtic too. Oh, no, she's a Welshish goddess. Um, and she means great queen. So we have some, uh, the goddesses here are represent um, some, uh, we have a lot of water energy. So if you have any relation or um, you are a water sign, then this also relates to you, but from what I see here, it looks like there's a lot of stress about something. There's, um, it's almost like it in the book, it even talks about getting outside and getting that fresh air. So you need to get out to see that there's a, a brighter future and getting outside in nature is key. And all three of these cards are calling you to that. So... If you're going to get outside and need a place to relax the mind and a place to go, even though she's next to water as well with the lotus flowers, uh, the goddess cards are asking you to also uh, seriously consider uh, any body of water for your respite and for your meditation time and for the... Uh, availability so you can recharge your batteries um, the because when the sorceress comes in that's all about being that magical being and and you're able to manifest whatever you want to manifest however if you're stressing about it and or you're stressing in general about your future and about um, certain situations you're actually doing a disservice because you're pushing it away by, by that intense uh, fear and anxiety. So what you need to do is go near the water because the water is a conduit. We're 70, over 70% 70 water in our body. So if we can go near other water, we can use that as a conduit if we relax our mind and go into a meditative state to realize what it is that we need to uh, calm down on so that we can uh, bring forth the reality that we want. I'm not sure if I read this. 
You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. She's always connected with the, her white horse. She's very connected to nature. So is Lakshmi, very connected to nature. So we have a lot of nature and water here. So you're really being asked to uh, put forth an effort to eliminate some of the stress. And Lakshmi is here to guide you on that. I'm going to go ahead and look in the book real quick and see if there's something here. Here's the message from Lakshmi. This is a kind universe, and everyone within it is working in your favor. There are no tests, blocks, or obstacles in your way except your own projections of fear into your future. Take a moment and hush your mind, quieting it from worries and fears. Feel me brush your brow with a new energy of faith, hope, and optimism. These energies fuel your exciting present time, as well as all future moments. Why would you wish darkness upon yourself when light shines all around you? Step into the brightness by lightening your thoughts and feelings. You must stop worrying, as this anxiety squelches the goodness that seeks to find you. Clear your heart of fear and replace those energies with ones that will serve you and your family instead. Refuse to think of anything except your bright today and tomorrow. So I'm thinking that this anxiety has really kind of taken its toll. And with the body of water coming up, it's actually directing you exactly where you need to go to relax your mind and calm your spirit and your body so that you can move forward um, like Rhea Non. I mean, she's a total magical sorceress. I mean, look at this. She's a total magical sorceress. She's gonna, she goes forward and can easily, easily manifest her clear intentions. So I really urge you to uh, take some time out, go to a river, water, lake, pond, ocean, whatever stream, whatever it is, and make sure that you just really enhance the the total, you know, you want to just like embrace all of that water and relax the mind and, and calm yourself so you can move forward. You know what you need to do as far as your intentions and you want to bring them into your reality. There's just no way you can manifest anything right now with all of this anxiety and fear going on. So it's time to, time to take heed and, uh, Put forth the energy to relax and go near the water and, and spend some time in respite and relaxation. And you'll get there. Thank you so much for joining me on the Journey with Nicole YouTube channel. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you very much. Peace out.